Hey, Sheet Shakers, it's Big Sheeter here. No, my name's Andrew. Probably need to get a better intro there. This video is all about the basics, the absolute basics of a spreadsheet and Google Sheets. So when you create a new sheet uh, or spreadsheet, um, it's going to have sheets in it. It's going to have one sheet, actually. It's going to look like this. It's going to have a table. And you have a number of sheets inside of this spreadsheet. And each one of these sheets is a table. The table is cells, which are ordered in rows and columns. Every new sheet that you make, it's going to have 26 columns and 1,000 rows. Uh, we know this because if we go all the way over to the right, the column is labeled Z. So all the columns are labeled as their uh, letter. But if you don't know what uh, number this is, like you can say how many cell, how many columns do we have? Well, one easy way to find out is to do a little equals column, and then parentheses and parentheses, and that'll give you the number of the columns. So you can even copy paste this, and you can see. So sometimes you might not remember what number U is. It's the twenty-first letter of the alphabet, and it's the twenty-first column in a spreadsheet. Every new sheet you make, you can click uh, over here on the plus sign and create a new sheet. It's going to be named uh, sheet and the word sheet and then a number. Uh, it'll be after whatever number you have. So I've made this video a couple times and you can see it uh, says 14 here. Uh, wherever you are in the sheet, in the tabs, it'll create a sheet right after it. So you can see right here number 16. So these are all out of order, right? Because it, it's just adding wherever I am, it's going to be adding after that. So what can you do in cells? Well, in cells you can do four things. You can write text, you can do math, you can combine that text in some funky ways, and then you can also do formulas. Uh, I'm going to show you text right now, so you can write any text. And it's going to look like that when you originally do it. It'll be Arial, default 10, uh, font size, it'll be black. Um, I have some other videos that are really cool about how what to do to make your initial uh, sheets better. So you can go and check out those videos. They include things like changing the text to uh, hashtag uh, 4444. That's like a lighter black that's not so contrasty. And then also using something like uh, sheet.new to create a new sheet. Uh, really quick productivity things to make your life easier. But back to what you can do in cells. So you can write any text. You can also do math. And in order to do math, you have to use the equal sign. Then you can do like 34 plus 56. You can also do 45 times 34. And that's 90. That's 1530. You can do division divided by that. If it's a funky number like that, you can easily go up, come up here and click the percent format as percent sign right here. And you get percentages. And you can combine text. So here's like a really simple way without any formulas or anything to combine text. So you go equals and you put in quotations. You go any and then you want to combine that. You go and text and you'll see it is any text. So you can use the and sign. You can also put a space there or you can do space and that. Uh, but you might run into problems if you try to do use something other than an and sign you might want to try like a plus sign and you're gonna run into a problem this is uh, an error whenever you get hashtag value uh, and it says error if you if you ever um, get an error you can always a roll hover over the cell and it'll give you it'll explain what it is in this one it says that function add uh, which is the plus sign parameter one expects number value so you want a number here, but you had text. But any is a text. It's, it literally says that any is a text and cannot be coerced to a number. So it's actually trying to think, is this a number? Um, let's see it, what happens when we use numbers. So this actually, when you use in quotation marks numbers, it knows, oh, that's a number, and it's going to change it. Um, so it doesn't give you a uh, error if you use an and. See, 1 and 2 become 12 because it's really just combining those things. So um, if you ever get an error, just hover over. You can – that'll be hashtag name. That's an error. It says just unknown. It's like, what is this? And now you've already been introduced to formulas. They always start with equal sign. And then you can do something like sum. If you want to add up 
say 45 comma 67 76 67 end parentheses they'll always have the name of the formula or function actually Google calls them functions uh, then parentheses and then some amount of arguments if you ever need help and you don't have this helper um, information maybe it's closed you have this question mark next to it and says turn on formula help you can click that and you have a little uh, description of what that formula or function does. Uh, so what does that do? It actually sums up or adds up all of those numbers. I'm not going to get into all of the functions now, but I will share with you some really fun ones that um, like average is a good one. Um, why? Because what you can do in them, you can absolutely go 7300. You can put the numbers here and you'll get an average. Great. But you can also refer to other cells, which means that you don't have to type the number inside of the equation or the formula. And you can actually do this with, without formulas. Let's do, let's do it without formulas first. Let's go equals. We do 90 plus 1,530 gets us 1620. See, we didn't have to. This doesn't need any fancy formulas. We don't have to write in add some anything. It's just the plus sign. Uh, we can also do minus, we can also do times, and you have those two arguments or cells are now referred to in this cell. But you can do the same with sum, let's get rid of that helper, and you can do this range. So you can do that, or you can put a comma here if it's only two, if it's like three, g6. You can say, okay, that's the sum of all three, or you can put a colon here and go G4 colon G6 gives you everything, G4 and G6 included, everything in between, and you can sum those up. What's cool about this too is it's a relative, there's relative and there's absolute. It's a relative referral to the cell, so it means if I copy and paste this, it's actually going to change the um, the range. So see, it's, it's now G5 to G7, and this one is G4 to G6. So as I copy and paste that down the line, it's going to change the formula because it's relative to what this is. If you want to, this is the biggest thing I'm going to reveal right now, um, and I'm going to get the, into this again in other videos because it's one of the coolest things in Google Sheets, is if you want to hold this and you want to say, okay, I want this sum, but I want to sum the same exact uh, place. All you have to do is in front of the G, whatever you want to do, hold, you put a dollar sign in front of. So you can do dollar sign G, dollar sign four, dollar sign G, dollar sign six. And now everywhere I copy and paste that, it's absolute reference to the range. Isn't that cool? You can also choose which ones you want to hold. If I want to hold just the columns, like G, I can delete the dollar sign in front of the four and the six. And now if I move it up and down, it'll change. But if I move it left and right, it won't change. Watch this. So that doesn't change, but that doesn't change. That doesn't change the G. It only would change it to the four and the six, but it actually held the G. So this one's fine. So we can move that all around and see how it's changing up and down, but it's not changing left and right. That's really cool. So you get relative, normally if you just use a cell, you have relative. If you put the dollar sign there in front of the column and or the row, then you're gonna have an absolute reference. So that should be fun. Um, this was an absolute basics and that should get you going. If you've never used Google Sheets before, go ahead, create a new Google Sheet, sheet.new, and enjoy just messing around, add some text, try some formulas, What's one of the most fun things, if you've never done it before, just type in equal and go through the alphabet and check out all the kinds of different things you can do. You can cosines, and you can, you, there's, I think there's something for every single letter of the alphabet. Yeah, even Q, J, join, J, join is the only one. Oh, join so much fun. Um, go ahead and enjoy. Now you can use Google Sheets in all of its glory. Bye.